I'm glad I just woke up from a nap. It says it has arrived. You look hot already. What are you doing? Open it by biting it. You got it? I'm gonna pull some of this stuff out, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't know if I introduced George Ferros yet. This is my faithful Labrador. He's basically with me most of the day and he really loves all the animals. So that's one of the reasons why. What's happening today is I bought this Exer saucer. I hope I'm saying it right on Amazon. So it's jungle themed, which is a must. That's one of the main reasons why I really liked it. Basically it's gonna help him exercise and it's just gonna be a lot of fun at the same time. So he's gonna bounce his little legs are there and that'll help build up his muscles in his legs. And he can also kind of play and reach up and grab other things. It says it has arrived. So let's go see. Come on. All right, guys, it should just be right around the corner here. So let's go see it. Whoa, whoa, okay. Hi, buddy. You're always in the way, huh? What are you doing out here? Searching for some breakfast? It literally is the most friendly tortoise ever. But as soon as you're outside, it comes over because it wants to be petted. It wants to be touched and just talked to. It is a very cool tortoise. You having a good day? Her name is Miley. You're a good girl. All right, we'll go leave you alone and we'll go find our stuff. You ready, George? Are you coming? Oh, yes. There it is. Let's get it. <laughs> You're a good boy. Luckily, it um, feels really lightweight, so that'll be easy. Look at it. It's very cool. Do you think he's going to have a fun time in it? I think he will. Okay. Yes. Bring your coconut. Good boy, bring your coconut. It's so funny. All right, drop it. Good boy, let's go. All right, so we got this thing inside. This is awesome. Look at all these different toys that he's gonna be able to play with. They detach, they make noises. It says there's more than 17 activities. The main thing about this is it's just gonna be good for his body and his mind, right? He needs to exercise and it's just playing with all these different things is gonna make him brighter, faster, right? It's just, just new sights, sounds, and smells. It's the greatest gift you can give your dog, your monkey, and probably even your child. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go get Angara. <gasps> Angara just woke up from a nap. You're a good boy. We're gonna put the dogs out first, just so they don't get in the way. And then we'll bring him and the little toy out and we'll set it up and see what he thinks about it. Are you excited? Are you excited? You're such a good boy. Mm. Yeah! I got George and Roscoe. We're gonna go outside and play with the other dogs. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Are you coming? Let's go, puppies! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Let's go! Let's go, puppies! Let's go! Go, puppies! Yeah! <laughs> Exercise is important for all of the animals. The dogs, the baby chimpanzee, our tigers. I'm gonna show you how we exercise our tigers in another video. But that exercise is so important for everyone. You ready? You ready? Come on. So let me introduce you to my big, beautiful dogs. This is Kronos. And Kronos, of course, is just a big, beautiful Rottweiler. I have a couple of coon hounds. Where you at? Hello. I have Roscoe and I have Junior Brown. Where's Junior Brown? Where's Junior Brown? There's Roscoe and Junior Brown. And of course, George Farrow's there in the back. These guys are the best. We have 22 dogs on the property. These are the four that I spend the most time with. These guys take turns coming in the house and sleeping in the house. Just because it's good for them, it's enriching. They like the animals. The animals like them back. You look hot already. What are you doing? Are you ready? Come on. What do you want to do? Uh-oh, no one's allowed to be petted except for Kronos. Only Kronos is allowed to be petted. We keep a ton of dogs because they are friends to all of our animals, right? Junior Brown here helped me raise my wolf. Kronos is pretty new at this. George, of course, helped us raise our big Liger boys. We did a whole series about that. There's actually a book about him raising those animals. It's really, really good enrichment for the animals to be able to run around and play with the dogs. All right, so I'm gonna leave these boys out here to play for the day, and we're gonna go build that toy for Angara. All right, we got Angara and the toy out here. He's gonna watch us put it together. And then uh, hopefully he'll get in it and he'll play in it and he'll get big and strong. Are you ready for this? Are you helping? Looks like you're helping. What's in there? Are you helping? Are you helping? Yeah, that's what you do. You bite it. You open it by biting it. There you go. You got it? You got it? 
I'm gonna pull some of this stuff out, okay? Oh, look at that! I got it. Look at this toy. What about that? It's it's a giraffe. Oh, that's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Just like babies, everything goes directly in their mouth. He is teething right now too. He has 12 teeth, so he wants to chew on everything, huh? All right, I'll leave that for you to play, and I'll pull some more things out, okay? Look at that one. Go away. This is the little seat he's gonna go in. Oh, I like the seat. It's gonna keep you safe in there. So all these little toys go on the side and they're they're kind of flexible so he'll just kind of play with them and flip them back and forth and they're easily taken out so that um, if he wants to take it with him and play with it later he can do that too. You going in? What'd you find? Anything good? Go grab something cool. This is kind of cool. This is I like all the all the noises it makes. Huh? We might need to find batteries for this one. It uh, turns on, it lights up, it makes funny animal noises, so this one looks like it'll be really fun. Angara, look at, look at the monkey. Do you see it? So this is a monkey, and the reason we can tell is he has a tail. See, he's actually holding his whole body weight up to that. That would mean it was a prehensile tail. The difference between a monkey and an ape is you have a tail or you don't. No tail on Angara. Yeah, look at that monkey. That's a cool little monkey, huh? You like the tag? <laughs> Look at this, guys. He's already totally in love with all of these toys and we haven't even gotten started yet. That's my toy, huh? You're such a good boy. All right, we got all the parts and pieces out of the box. We're gonna start building it and we'll let you see it when it's done. So we're getting this set up, but of course he's in the back just playing with the box. Are you going to like the toy as much as the box? He's already excited about it. He's playing with it. Look. Even from the outside, it's good exercise for him because he has to balance himself while it's moving. So of course this is made for toddlers, so it's perfectly safe for him. And also I'm never going to leave him alone in it. He's actually never left alone anyway. He'll just be in this playing with it to give him enough exercise and as soon as he decides he wants out, he'll come right out. He can actually get in and out on his own, I would guess, easily. But of course I'll help him with anything he needs. So these just pop in here. You can reach up and play with it. Look at it bouncing. This one's fun because you can play with all that stuff. And I need to put the batteries in these toys. <gasps> Look, it's got a mirror. It's not a perfect mirror. Chimpanzees can recognize themselves in the mirror, just like we can, but he'll have to get a little bit older before he actually realizes it's him and starts playing with himself in the mirror. All right, so this is the last one. We're almost done. Angata's still having fun on the box. I only hope that this toy is more fun than the box. Yeah, it's in there solid. Look at that. All those funny little things it does. Oh, she's coming! Here it comes! Yeah! Are you gonna come play with it? So it's fully complete. He's here checking it all out. Look at the batteries in them. They're making all kinds of funny noises. Oh, look, there's some lights. Can you see that? The elephant was making funny noises. Let's turn this one on. It's an elephant. It's like bubbles. It's like your elephant, huh? Is it, is it fun under here? So the way this works is you get his little feet inside these holes and then in theory he's gonna play with all this stuff. Are you ready little guy? Ready? So I'm gonna reach down in there. There's the foot. And there's a little foot. Look at all this stuff. Yeah. You like it? Look up here. I think
think that's a success. <laughs> Two opposable thumbs up. Yeah. So we just fixed it so that his little feet can touch the ground if he wants. He can dance around in there or he can pull his feet up, whatever he wants to do. Look at this. Look at all these silly things. There's a lion, giraffe. So this does look like it was a success. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to get to know chimpanzees, you can visit MyrtleBeachSafari.com. If you want to learn how we're saving them, check out RareSpeciesFun.org. Today, we built this outside because it's a beautiful sunny day, uh, but this is more of an inside game for him. If it's raining outside or if it actually does get cold, then he's going to come inside and he's going to exercise on this. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, do all the cool stuff, and remember, stay wild. <laughs>